He's been described as Singapore's enfant terrible, and in his videos published online, he pulls no punches when it comes to sharing his views on religion as well as the state of politics in his country. Amos Yee was back in court on Wednesday for the final day of his hearing on six separate charges related to his inflammatory rhetoric. On Tuesday, he pled guilty to two other charges for failing to present himself to the police despite being notified. The maximum penalty for each of those charges, one month in jail and an $1,100 fine. But there's little doubt it's his open hostility to both Islam and Christianity that stirred debate among netizens and divided opinions among Singaporeans. Uh, he's actually shocking the political culture in the country. He's shocking it. I mean, uh, he's, he's putting an electric wire into a human being. That's my analogy. And he's there definitely no no. I, I like to see Singaporeans make their point of view. I like to see Singaporeans oppose if they have to or support if they have to. But there is a way of doing things. There is the form and there is a substance. This guy has got it wrong. The latest case against Yi comes just a year after he was convicted over a similar charge of wounding the feelings of Christians and for posting what was deemed an obscene image depicting Singapore's founding father, Lee Kuan Yew. And for that, he was sentenced to four weeks jail, backdated to include time served in remand. But it's only served and bold in the 17-year-old who's upped the ante against authorities and continued to test the limits on freedom of speech in the city-state. Meantime, in a move described by critics as an attempt to further curtail people's rights to free speech, last week Singapore's government passed the Administration of Justice Bill, giving authorities far-reaching powers to crack down on criticism of cases under review by the judiciary. Why introduce it and why introduce it now? Um, I can only speculate because uh, no real reason has been given as to why there's a pressing need for it at the moment. Whatever the reason behind the timing of the new legislation, those who air contrasting views linked with Yi's ongoing court case risk finding themselves in contempt of court and could be subject to criminal charges. Patrick Falk, TRT World, Singapore.